Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Operation Hindenburg. You're with General Hand Grenade, and it is France's turn in the spring of 1917. So I'm just going to start down here. I've only got a couple of small moves to make, and then we'll go up at the other end of the table. That way I don't have to go back and forth. So you see these guys over here, right? Uh, Colonial Infantry in Spanish Sahara. This transport's coming over. One, two, three, and they're taking them the two of them to southern France. Um, you know what, I might as well bring these in here. You never know, some random event pops up. Yeah, go uh, kick the French guy in the head and take his transports. You know, move this up here too. Just, I don't know. Strength in numbers, right? Okay, let's move up to the other side. So what I purchased was five infantry and um, an artillery, uh, gas, and trench fighter. That's it. Oh, plus one, um, one diplomacy roll. I don't have a free one because I didn't take a territory last time. Uh, I am going to take one this time. It's just a, a walk-on, so I don't mind, uh, you know, kind of fudging it a bit and taking my, um, a couple of non-combat moves just to get the the turn going faster. So uh, I'm going for poison gas and improved factories. Okay. Poison gas is blue, improved factories green. Got that one. So that's all the way to four. So instead of buying phosgene gas, I guess we'll buy mustard gas. And why not? Didn't want no phosgene gas anyway. All well, costs the same. There we go. Okay, now my purchases are complete. So I am going to go for diplomacy. And I thought, you know what, I've only got one on stage one and I could use some money. So I'll try to get that to stage two and then I can collect that IPP and trade. And that is, of course. Denmark. How's it going, Morton? Oh, Morton. I thought we were friends. Okay, let's move over here. Oh, da -da. The eternal struggle to not kill everything. Okay, I've got, um, amongst other things, I have uh, cavalry here. He's going to go one, two, and take that. And uh, a Asturia, Vasconi, or something like that. Uh, and he's going to do that just so he can get a free roll next time. So I'm going to go mark that. And there we go. Okay. Uh, that's the only thing. So non-combat moves. We are going to move two artillery to Paris. So let's just move those over. So that gives me, well, I'll tell you in a second. So I'm going through it twice. Okay. And we're also going to move the trench fighter. And let's move the militia over to southern France, the trench fighter to uh, Paris. Uh, what else? Well, I guess I can't do anything else. Uh, because I got nothing left. Looking around. Yep, there's nothing left. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Um, now let's put my my chit on. Okay. So I've got. Um, I'm gonna put three infantry in southern France. Here, let's move this guy out of here. I'm definitely gonna knock people over. Oh, look at that. First time ever. So three guys down there, and uh, what did I say five, right? So that means I'm putting two in Paris, and one trench fighter in Paris, and one artillery is going cash and carry over to Washington. 
so I'm just putting that over there. Okay, disposition. We've got that artillery I just placed over there. Yeah, let me just count these dudes up here. One, two, three, four, five. And that is okay. Click. That can't be right. I'm missing something here. Two, three. Maybe not. So then I guess what I would have then is 21 infantry, although I thought I had more. Okay, in Paris there's 21 infantry, three trench fighters, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, is that including these two? I don't think I put these two in. I'll check the video afterwards just to make sure I'm not cheating here. Okay, let's make it 16 artillery. That sounds more like it. Yeah, 16 artillery, one tank, and that's it in Paris. So, yeah, this, these two dudes. I, I thought that it was those two chips. Those two chips were the artillery. Okay, there's that. Then I've got the cavalry in down in the Spanish territory here. In southern France, I've got a militia, an artillery, and I believe it's nine. Yep, nine infantry. And, one, oh, two colonial infantry. I just moved them up there. Um... And then there's all the Italian units in there. They, they haven't changed. Um, so out in C-Zone M1, I've got two cruisers and three transports that are with uh, the British pre-dreadnought. And over here, I have two pre-dreadnoughts in M3 plus a seaplane. And then I've got two units down in Africa, just two colonial infantry. So everything I have down there is garrisoned like it needs to be. And uh, yeah, that's it. You don't, uh, they don't have, oh jeez, I, I was wondering why aren't I garrisoned down here? Check this out, when I was updating the board. I, uh, <laughs> what an idiot. So, <laughs> I took out the French instead of the German. Here we go. That looks better. And I put my colonial back. I'd taken him off too, right? Um, here, I'll just put this one over here. There we go. Okay, so that's it. All I've got left is my wartime income roll. So, here we go. Oh. Here, I'll just roll it real quick and say goodbye. Eight uh, plus 19, so I got 27. Take care, everyone. Turn the hand grenade out.